Hello guys and welcome. Today we want to talk about the control box. So what is a control box? Well, let's show this by an example. Let's run the project and we'd like to look, take a look at the Windows forms. So right to your top left, as you can see here, there is a close button. There is a maximize button. There is a minimize button. So this group of controls are in a control box. So they control the behavior of the entire form when each of these buttons is clicked. They have a predefined role. What if you want to style your control box? By default, it's not easy to style the control box when we are using them in the Visual Studio. But we have provided a control that acts to provide each individual control and style each individual control is applicable to your application. So let's change the let's change this form. We would like to make this form undecorated. And now when we run this form there is no way we can close it because we have removed the control box. Now, this is where our control box comes into play. We have a control box in the library. Sorry, I have dragged on the combo box. Let me look for the control box. There it is. And we can put it right here for demonstration purposes. But you can anchor to the top left of course so this is the default control box we want to make our application closable so let's change the style first let's change the fill color to white and we have a harvest state if a person harvests we want the fill color to be red to show that this is a closing button and the icon color at that moment should change to white but the default icon color, as you can see there, is set to white. Let's try to change to black. Sorry, this is the fill color. Let's look for the icon color. There it is. Let's change it to black, like this. Let's run the application and see what we have so far. There is the form. Now, when we hover, the user can see that this is a control box. And when we click, the application is closed. What if we want to apply additional styling to this control box? Well, when you look at the features that we have there, we have the animated feature. The animated applies an animation, but it's difficult to see when we are using the control box type of close. Let's duplicate this control box and we put another style so that we can see how it appears. Let's change this to maximize. And as you can see, we can change the styling of the entire box from Windows 10 to a custom control box which is a material type style and we can change the individual colors of the icon from black we can put this color to blue for example this is a shade of blue or we can put this to green or any other color to suit your overall uh, style and theming of the entire application. Let's run the application and see what we get. Now we have these two beautiful control boxes. When we click here, as you can see, the icon changes to show that the form is now maximized and now it can be minimized as you can see. So the control box allows you to change how the control of the form 
feels and looks to match the entire application. First you undecorate the form and then you change or style each control box. Of course on Hover State you can change the bay color to be another color like uh, white or any other color that will suit the background of the form. So this control box is very useful in events where you want to change how the controls of the form appears. So I invite you please guys to go ahead and try to use this control box so that you can style how the form is controlled rather than using the default control box that we see in Windows right there. Of course you can replicate this using our controls but you can even give more customizations. You can change the border radius, you can also change the border thickness as we can see right there and we can even change the styling of the border as you can see right there. So you can do endless customizations when you are using this beautiful and amazing control. Remember the icon size is also changeable. We can change this from 10 to 20. Now it's a big icon and we can change from custom to windows and there you can see it reverts back to a default icon size but when custom it becomes a huge icon we can also change the hover state how the control will look when the cursor hovers over it we can also change the press color we can also change if you want to show the icon or you want to hide the icon so in events that we have three icons the minimize maximize and close and you want to hide one icon you can either remove it or you can simply set the show icon property to false and the icon will be hidden thank you so much for watching please guys go ahead and try to use this control box and see how powerful this control is and how it can help you to style your entire application especially the controls that you see in the form when you are making a dialogue you can control your form using this control box Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.